this is the problem that that in in a general sense if a government or any regulatory body wants to go after misinformation on social media or even try to remedy bad practices of social media giants social media giants aren't getting a clean pass here that's fine but you have the government and the ruling party which itself promotes misinformation all the time and acts against anybody trying to call it out twitter labels the the tweet of its one of its spokespersons as misinformation they get hit not the person who did the misinformation so how do you then judge this government's actions in good faith when they say we are cracking down on fake news and misinformation when they promote it themselves sorry you're on mute power the yeah. problem lies in the law the way the law has been drafted it's given so much of immense power to the to the government hmm. when i look at the power of blocking under section 69a of the information technology act that a variety of circumstances can come under the same so what the government is currently doing is under the parameters of law which are still not being subject to appropriate checks and balances by an appropriate judicially reviewed okay. decision so that's the reason why you find these kind of anomalies coming in logically uh, if, if at every point of time every service provider is going to ask sir first give me a notice give the affected party a notice before i block hmm. then the very purpose of blocking gets uh, completely uh, defeated no but and, even uh, on the point of the law though that wasn't my question pavan even on the point of the law the twitter legal argument in the court was that even these blocking orders are violative of the law that when you say you ask us to block entire accounts urls that's that's violative of the law according to them well but when i look at the but sorry, but my there. question was different my question was when you have the regulator itself the so called watchdog its elf is quote unquote guilty of bad faith actions like spreading misinformation like spreading fake news uh cracking down on attempts to curb its own spreading of that then what do you do this is beyond the law well, the fact still remains is that you cannot expect the milk uh, on the uh, on the pillow of the cat to remain for a long period of time the fact still okay. remains is that is in that? such till such time you do not come up with appropriate checks and balances such kinds of exercise or okay. powers are bound to take place All and right. therefore there is a need for reading down appropriate checks and balances and reasonable restrictions because okay. when i look at the entire parameters of security sovereignty integrity of india friendly relations with other nations public order decency morality yeah. now these are very very broad those are Almost very broad terms. okay agreed 